clarification has been something else, suggested as the speculation of the old endless effect. Various examinations, other than those made by a tremendous number of examiners, support this thought, giving confirmation about how the universe began. Anyway, the current universe of science, with new movements, brings us novel appraisals and points of view. These assessments challenge our places of view, where certain bits of information, for example, those from Neil deGrasse Tyson, have transformed into a huge addition. This impacting universe of science now, something attracting is going on with the James Webb Space Telescope. It's critical to see something that could make us question the speculation of the universe's beginning. The James Webb Space Telescope has seen 750 new universes. These frameworks are not exactly vague from what we anticipated, driving us to rethink what we expected we had some attention to them. This revelation ought to help us with appreciating how gigantic frameworks turned out to be. So, it's not astonishing that it's stirring up how we would have the choice to loosen up the universe. Before, specialists said that the Big Bang speculation was an excellent explanation for how the universe began. According to this speculation, around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe appeared through a bewildering event, like the crazy story of the first experience with the world. In any case, the photographs from the James Webb Space Telescope have tried this thought. These photographs show universes that are more unobtrusive, smoother, and then some, prepared, without a doubt, not exactly the same as what the speculation of how things came to be predicts. According to the hypothesis, as the universe expands, objects should look more discernible the farther away they are. By and by, these lofty plans make an effort not to keep that standard. The speculation also states that, at the universe's veritable start, all of the matter that makes up the universe was fit into a second superdense point called a singularity. This singularity was incredibly more sweltering than anything that we might genuinely measure or make. This idea of a singularity comes from a great deal of conditions in genuine science, proposed by Albert Einstein called general relativity. Inside the singularity, all the stuff in the universe was squashed into a small space with incredibly high thickness. It was a monster measure of mass and energy, stuffed into a little space. In less difficult terms, Experts have persistently said that the speculation of how things came to be was the means by which the universe began. In any case, these new pictures from the James Webb Space Telescope are making us question that thought. The universes it found don't fit with what the speculation expected, and the speculation explanation of the early universe likely will not be just about as solid as we once suspected. In our determined viewpoint of the universe, we see that all the energy in the universe began from an extremely hot and thick point called a singularity. This point resembles the beginning phase for all that we view as in the universe today. After this singularity, the universe started to develop and make, over generally 13.7 billion years, to become what it is today. The expansion began with something various referred to as the incredible inflation, where the universe became limitlessly quickly, essentially faster than the speed of light. Perhaps the veritable surface of room itself was developing, and everything in it was stretching out close by it. This tremendous expansion helped shape the universe by making things more uniform and paving the way for universes, stars, and other impact events to form. As the universe kept on creating, it didn't reach out as quickly as during the remarkable inflation. However, it still continued to develop. We call this consistent advancement cosmic progress. Experts have seen evidence of this increase through things like the way light from distant universes changes in color, known as redshift. Now, what about we see those astonishing pictures of new universes taken by the James Webb Space Telescope? To the larger part, these photos look stunning, with diverse universes in a singular frame. At any rate, for examiners, it's somewhat a shock that these photographs don't match what their hypotheses expected. As an issue of some importance, these universes are essentially surprisingly prepared, which challenges our point of view on framework design and movement. As demonstrated by the speculation of the old Big Bang, there are other than essentially more egotistical structures than we expected. The speculation of the universe's beginning made construes about the quantity of structures there ought to be and the way that they ought to be fanned out. However, the JWST pictures show a Goliath number of universes, some more than anticipated. This makes experts question whether the theory's checks are accurate. A couple of experts are, at any rate, beginning to overcompensate a bit, 
thinking about the way these disclosures make an effort not to fit their ideas in any way. One more. Astonishing piece of the new grandiose plans is their faultlessness, which conflicts with what the speculation of how things came to be proposed. As demonstrated by the speculation, universes ought to show anomalies and plans in their designs because of how they outlined and developed. However, photographs from the JWST show universes that are extremely smooth, without the normal intricacy and ruthlessness. During the development of the universe, all that makes up our universe was condensed into a little space. As the universe expanded and cooled, changes happened in particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons, which began to interact with light and energy around them. These interactions played a huge role in the development of matter in the universe. In the initial few minutes after the Big Bang, there was a process called nucleosynthesis, which involved the creation of lightweight parts like hydrogen and helium. These parts set the stage for the advancement of stars, galaxies, and other complicated components as relentless history unfolded. This blend of fundamental building blocks was a key stage in the universe's improvement, progressing from a starting state of particles and energy to a state where matter began to form, just as predicted. The speculation of the old Big Bang had expected to see universes that were dispersed and tempestuous. However, the JWST pictures tell a different story. Rather than tempestuous, dispersed universes, the photos reveal smooth, round, and spiral shapes, resembling the galaxies we find in the present-day universe. This disturbing discovery challenges the belief that disarray is a normal part of universe development. If there are few or no violent events occurring in these universes, as proposed by the speculation of how things came to be, it becomes nonsensical that small universes would be capable of developing to become more significant. Similarly, the optical phenomenon expected by the developing universe theory, where objects appear smaller with increasing distance due to expansion, doesn't seem to be observable in space. Experts have observed a striking model where large plans will frequently assemble in massive groups, forming various associations across the universe. This enormous degree structure lines up with the assumptions made by the speculation of the universe's beginning. According to the speculation, the universe began in an extremely hot and thick state and then broadened and cooled over time. As the universe expanded, gravity played a massive role in shaping how matter was distributed and in arranging galaxies. The gravitational effects expected by the speculation of the old Big Bang are consistent with what we see today, with gravity organizing matter, causing the gathering of vast galaxies and the formation of interconnected, filamentary structures known as the cosmic web. The presence of these galaxy groupings and the self-organizing web structure strongly supports the theory of the old Big Bang. How galaxies are scattered across the universe lines up with the gravitational influences expected from a dense, expanding state, as proposed by the speculation. These components, including the clustering of galaxies, the self-organizing web structure, and the spreading of galaxy clusters, strongly suggest that the universe came from an extremely dense state and has been developing for billions of years. Now, we should return to the size of the design observed by the JWST. These photos conflict with what we thought we understood about the Big Bang Theory. As demonstrated by the theory, small universes should form and expand through influences and solidifications with other galaxies. However, the galaxies made by the JWST seem very different from this idea. Assuming that cosmic formations were interacting and merging as expected, we would see evidence of these collisions and mergers. However, the photographs show something else. The Big Bang is still a truly remarkable hypothesis, essentially a thought without conclusive proof. No, it is really supported by undeniable evidence, including observations of the redshift of light and insights from distant galaxies, which offer support for the expanding universe theory. Studies showing galaxies growing their distance from one another propose the expected constant expansion predicted by the speculation. The spread of light elements, like hydrogen and helium, seen throughout the universe is too consistent with the theory of the universe's origin. Additionally, the large-scale distribution of galaxies, as revealed through cosmic maps, matches the models expected by the theory of how things came to be. One of the primary pieces of evidence for the Big Bang Theory is the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, CMB. The CMB is weak radiation that fills the entire universe and represents the leftover heat from the Big Bang. This massive radiation, first recognized in 1965, 
still aligns with the predictions made by the theory of the universe's beginning. The observed qualities of the CMB, its consistency and temperature distribution strongly support the idea that the universe was once in a very hot and dense state before undergoing expansion. A central piece of the theory of how things came to be, the discovery of the cosmic microwave background, is a vital piece of evidence that offers us a remarkable look into the early minutes of the universe. It serves as a remnant of the essential stages following the Big Bang, helping to examine the extent of the universe's start and development. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has been one of the most anticipated space missions in recent history, touted as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. Launched on December 25, 2021, JWST is designed to study the cosmos in infrared light, which allows it to peer further back in time than ever before. Its groundbreaking capabilities provide unprecedented views of the early universe, galaxies, stars, and planets. While JWST's primary mission is to investigate the formation of stars and galaxies, it also has the potential to challenge or refine our understanding of long-standing scientific theories, including the Big Bang Theory. The Big Bang Theory, a brief overview. The Big Bang Theory is the prevailing explanation for the origin of the universe. It suggests that the universe began as an infinitely small, dense point approximately 13.8 billion years ago. From this singularity, space itself expanded rapidly in a process called cosmic inflation. Over time, matter cooled and clumped together to form the galaxies, stars, and planets we observe today. The Big Bang Theory is supported by several key observations. Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, CMBR, this faint glow of radiation is the afterglow of the Big Bang, providing a snapshot of the universe just 380,000 years after its inception. Redshift of galaxies. The observation that galaxies are moving away from us, with more distant galaxies receding faster, indicates that the universe is expanding. This is consistent with the idea of an expanding universe from an initial singularity. Abundance of light elements. The Big Bang nucleosynthesis model predicts the relative abundances of elements like hydrogen, helium, and lithium, which match observations in the universe. However, while the Big Bang theory has held up for decades, it does not provide a complete picture of the origins of the universe, nor does it fully explain certain cosmic phenomena. This is where the James Webb Space Telescope comes into play. The role of JWST in understanding the early universe. JWST is designed to address some of the gaps in our understanding of the universe, particularly its early stages. Unlike Hubble, which primarily observes invisible and ultraviolet light, JWST focuses on infrared wavelengths. This is crucial because the further we look into space, the further back in time we are observing. Light from the earliest galaxies has been stretched due to the expansion of the universe, shifting it into the infrared spectrum. Some of JWST's key scientific goals include studying the first galaxies. JWST is equipped to peer back to within a few hundred million years of the Big Bang, allowing it to study the formation of the first galaxies. This period, known as the Cosmic Dawn, remains largely unexplored. By observing this era, JWST can provide insights into how galaxies, stars, and black holes first formed. Exploring exoplanet atmospheres. The telescope's infrared capabilities enable it to examine the atmospheres of exoplanets, including those in the habitable zone of other stars. By studying their composition, JWST could help answer questions about the potential for life beyond Earth. Observing the reionization epoch. The universe underwent a phase transition known as reionization, when the first stars and galaxies emitted ultraviolet light, ionizing hydrogen gas and allowing light to travel freely through space. JWST's observations could refine our understanding of this crucial transition. Potential Challenges to the Big Bang Theory While JWST's primary mission is to observe the early universe and refine existing cosmological models, its findings may challenge some aspects of the Big Bang Theory. For example, JWST could reveal unexpected features of the universe that do not align with current models of cosmic evolution. 1. The Mystery of the First Galaxies One of the major questions that JWST aims to answer is how the first galaxies formed. 
Current models of galaxy formation suggest that the first galaxies should have formed relatively slowly, with their stars being very young and low in mass. However, there have been some theoretical concerns that galaxies might have formed much earlier than expected, with some models predicting that galaxies could have emerged just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. If JWST detects fully formed galaxies or structures that challenge the timeline, it could force scientists to reconsider the processes behind early galaxy formation.